The evolving global peace and security problems have compounded the challenges of our time in Africa. Statistically, as of 2023, over 37 million people had been forcefully displaced in Africa. Six countries accounted for 64% of the forced displacements on the continent. And as at September 2023, 121 million people are facing severe acute food security in selected countries in Africa. In the period between February 2019 and February 2024, conflict fatalities from selected African countries reached 208,000. Four of the top 10 countries facing severe acute food insecurity are in the Horn of Africa. The statistics in West and Central Africa are also daunting. The number of schools closed in these regions reached over 13,250 schools, impacting an estimated 2.5 million children. And roughly around June 2023 alone, that period alone, there were about 7,800 primary schools that were closed either destroyed or they had become military centers or they had become rescue centers. Uh, and again, almost 1.4 million children in the Sahel region in particular were out of school. We don't know when they will get back to school. The israel gather conflict and the war in Ukraine are garnering more attention than the conflicts in the Africa continent. While the peace and security situation in our continent is of great concern as well. We have conflicts in the Horn, Great Lakes, Sahel and the West African regions. These conflicts have affected millions of people, including children, women and the elderly, and according to statistics, over 15 African countries have been in conflict in the recent past, and this has resulted in the displacement of over 40 million people. Your Excellencies, how can leaders of this great continent of Africa reconcile the world's spotlight on the distant conflicts with the stark reality that our own people suffer in silence, their plight is relegated to the periphery of global consciousness. The challenges that, fa that face us are not merely of conflict resolution, but of moral imperative. The adverse impact of these insecurities cannot go unnoticed. We should all commit to promoting a shared vision for peace and security for holistic and sustainable development of our continent. There's an urgent need for our continent to strike a balance between global solidarity and the dire need to prioritize continental cooperation towards peace, security, and development in Africa. Therefore, although acknowledging the interconnectedness of conflicts and crises globally and regionally. I also implore all of us to note that in the shadow of global conflicts, let us not forget the silent suffering of our own people in Africa. Solidarity and unity will guarantee peace and security for the much needed trade and economic development of the continent.